Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. Thanks to the guys over at Chosen Prime. Today I'm taking a look at the latest offering from those guys over at Bad Cube. It's part of their old timer series labelled 08 Sun Surge, aka Masterpiece Sunstreaker. <laughs> We've waited so so long for a Masterpiece Sunstreaker. Even the box features bling. Back of the box features some nice artwork along with a small bio. Here he is out of the packaging and he is glorious. As standard he comes with the chromed rims and the chromed vents and spoiler. Now they do include a painted silver set of all chrome parts along with a screwdriver so you can change them out if you're not a fan of fingerprinting your chrome. Sunstreaker also comes with their version of chip in his wheelchair. A chip is very similar to the model we got with the Art Feather Bumblebee, only far more articulated. Nice paint applications, the arms do tend to pop off because he is very very small and I think the detailing is probably just a little bit better on the Art Feather one but this is a fantastic little accessory. We have a really nice weapon mounted option on the top, very much like what we got with Lambo and the design of the gun and with the rockets on the side does actually look a lot more natural than what we got with the Lambo mold. Size wise I think he looks incredible along with the Autobot companions. And even with his weapons on he fits comfortably inside the back of the MP10 trailer. Let's just take a closer look around. The chromed wheels are fantastic, I love the look of those. Roll extremely well, um, it's a hard kind of rubbery plastic on the tyres, I don't think it's actually rubber. There's no Lamborghini logo on the bonnets, but that's something that uh, repro labels can fix. It's really crisp, it feels good. It feels slightly lighter than the Lambo mould but very robust nonetheless. I said in my top 15 video that Bad Cube, much like uh, DX9 and Unique Toys, one of the companies out there that are continuing to impress me, their quality is just getting better and better and the engineering is taking leaps and bounds. I love that cannon on the top there. Let's just take a look at those vents. Marvellous having the vents on the top. How crisp they are. What a gorgeous vehicle. Now I know it's part of the transformation, but you can almost, almost lift the doors up. Right, let's get him transformed up into his bot mode. First of all, you want to just untab these front sections of the bonnet, which pulls this entire section forwards. Come round to this top piece. And just lifting up underneath, we can lift that up. And then there's these sections at the back here that join onto the rear of the car. They also need to be untabbed. So let's just pull those out like so. Pull and extend this front section forwards. Come to the underside and flip over these tabs. Lift up those Lambo doors by just unplugging them from the rear section of the car and just pulling them forwards. Pull this front section down and applying pressure to both sides just split it in two. Make sure the rear spoiler sections are just separated by just untabbing them. Come down to this section here and bring that down. Come to the windshield and lift this section up. That will bring this entire piece here up along with it. Bring it up through the gap we've created with the spoiler and then bring those back down. This whole section here can now rotate around on a pivot just inside the back section there. Rotate it all the way around. Bring this section here on the top up 
and bend it over. Just be very careful. Uh, mine was extremely tight and I've actually cracked the paint. The plastic itself seems fine, the joint seems fine, but I've got a small crack on the paint around there where it was kind of held together and thickly applied. Come to this end section here and you want to rock this hinge here, rock that backwards and then rock this section forwards so it sits on the vented sections like so. Right, at the moment uh, the head is poking between the crotch there. The instructions kind of miss this section out so just push the head up and just move it out to the back at the moment so you've got free reign of these leg sections. Basically this foot section needs to be pushed inwards. Uh, it's easier said than done. You have to make sure that this black section here slides behind this yellow clip when you compress the leg inwards. Otherwise it's going to sit uncomfortably behind it and you won't be able to straighten out the leg. Make sure that this flappy tab at the back tabs inwards. Come around to the back of the foot, poke down the heel spur section and then drop the foot down. Come round to the side of the leg, collapse the window section into the leg, rotate it around and that pushes inwards and then close off the front of the leg. Come to the underside and just rotate the waist section completely around. Come round to the shoulder section, drop this whole section down. That's going to come down and this is going to bring all the way around and unfold. Bring this section back in, making sure the wheel is folded down. You can then literally just untab and fold the arm section down, bring that up and surprise surprise we have a fist hidden inside the forearm which can be accessed by just pulling down the tab underneath the fist stump and then rotating the fist outwards and closing that back up. Pull in the bling-tastic spoilers so they're touching. You then want to rotate this section on the top here down on itself. Flip these spoilers to the side. Bring it down and then bring it down again so they sit nicely at the side there and this section here is now at the front. This entire section here is actually on a hinge. You can rock that grey hinge section up, bring that up and over the chromed spoiler section. Bring this backpack section up and there's a tab on the back and a hole just inside the roof and there's this yellow tab here. You're going to bend this yellow tab and this yellow surface here is going to tab in nicely on the black sec section there. So bend that over, that's going to reach in and tab in and then this section here is just going to tab firmly into the back. Fold this black tab section down and then bring that inward and there's a tab under the armpit. That's just going to tab in locking the shoulder and armpit into place. These window sections here fold upwards like so they're going to fill out the gap in the torso pull open this section around the head and make sure you fully extend it you can then rock this section over then as we bring this section up there are circle pegs here they're going to allocate into these circle holes and there's square pegs and square holes so you should be able to lift that up bring the head up and then just applying moderate pressure we can line up those shoulder tabs and tab everything into place and then finally close off the shoulder sections by rotating it up and over that just hides off that ball joint and finishes him off there we have him that is sunstreaker aka sun surge Let's have a look at the face sculpt that's a pretty nice sculpt. I love the almost glowing blue eyes there. It's a very good take on him. Plenty of space on this section here for labels. 
just an all-round very aesthetically pleasing figure. Some very nice storage options with Sun Surge, being able to store one of the rockets on the back and the gun on the back as well, and being able to locate the rocket on the actual fist by flipping it inwards and using the peg. As an added bonus, with a little bit of brute force and ignorance and tilting the head back, we can pry off the original faceplate, and you also get my favorite of the two, a secondary faceplate which you can just peg inwards, apply pressure and bring that one forwards and there we go that is the Sunstreaker Smirk. The weapon attaches using the pretty standard masterpiece tabbing system, plugging that in and closing off the fingers and there we have the Sun Surge in all of his glory. Uh, I think probably the best work Bad Cube have done. I think I'm wrong. I loved War Dog and Brawny. Uh, the Insecticons were really good. And I just think this guy tops it off. He is very well made. Articulation is fantastic. In my opinion, the transformation is probably more complicated than what it actually needed to be. There was no real need for it to be as complexing as it was. I hope my tutorial is kind of easy to follow and I've simplified the instructions somewhat. But all in all, the overall effect and time and effort that Bad Cube have put into this guy, I think it's really paid off. They've listened to the fans and they've finally given us a masterpiece of Sunstreaker. Here we have him with Sideswipe. Considering how similar these two look in their vehicle modes, the overall look in bot mode is drastically different. Um, maybe he could have been a little bit taller. I know they're twins. I'm not sure which is the taller of the two. Uh, but bot modes, they do look completely different. Let's take a look at the articulation. The head can look up and down, left, and right on a very, very loose swivel there, actually probably a little bit of tightening on the uh, mushroom peg would not go amiss. The arms can come inwards and outwards. They're on a ball joint rotation. You can also move the actual shoulder joint up itself to give the appearance of slightly raised shoulders, as well as dropping it down to have lower shoulders. Uh, I'm not sure what I prefer. I think maybe the lower shoulders look a little bit uh, monkey-armed. Uh, it's personal preference, really. Complete personal preference. The bicep does rotate. We do have a double-jointed ratcheting elbow. The wrist does rotate quite nicely. And we do have a very smooth waist rotation. The hip skirts do move upwards, giving us free range of motion forwards and backwards. No real hindrance there from the backpack kibble at all. There is an upper thigh rotation, as well as really nice outward splits. The knees are kind of double jointed, you just need to angle that joint correctly by sliding it forward and you can get a really crazy good range on there. We do have pivot on the foot, inwards and outwards, and we do have forwards and backwards motion on a nice soft ratchet. There aren't many transformer toys out there where you can do a ducking, diving and dashing pose without any fear of this guy toppling over. Here he is alongside some of the other Autobots. He fits in perfectly. There's no doubt about that at all. So there we have it guys. This has been Sun Surge. Overall thoughts, the quality is just constantly improving with Bad Cube. The figure looks really good in my opinion. He is my masterpiece. Sunstreaker, there's no doubt about that at all. I love the face sculpt and I love his very G1 animation inspired look. It was a really nice addition getting Fry, aka Chip. It wasn't necessary, but it's a nice accessory nonetheless. 
I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed when they pick up this figure. Yes, there are some tweaks needed, like the mushroom peg did need tightening slightly on the head to make it perfect, but that's extremely minimal. QC seems to be very good. Please bear in mind and be careful with that joint that I mentioned earlier on, as the paint did crack. It will be a full gallery up on benscollectibles.com within the next few days. If there are any particular requests, please make sure you put them in the comments section below. I've also included a product link for this toy in the description below, linking you through to the Chosen Prime. Thanks for watching, I hope this video has been useful. If you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching, goodbye.